Hey, what's up guys? Dr. Jim coming at you here on a Sunday. Man, what a beautiful day. We've really lucked out on the weather the past couple of weeks. So hopefully you guys are finding some time to get outside. I know we've all been told to stay at home, quarantine, isolate, social distance. But man, I'll tell you what, nothing better than getting outside a little bit, fresh air, vitamin D. It's amazing what a 10 to 30, maybe even a 60 minute walk can do for the brain, for the body, for the lungs, try to get the breathing back on track. I know so many of us are just kind of stuck at home and you know whether you're watching TV or reading or whatever, there's just not enough of, of movement that's happening. So you know, I, I challenge you guys to get outside a little bit. You know, walk around your neighborhood. If you got some dogs, man, get them outside. I'm sure they need the, the workout too. Um, if not, everybody's just gonna go stir crazy. Um, but I do wanna kind of uh, talk about here there's been a lot of messages that have come in uh, the past few days and they are concerning so I kind of want to spearhead some of these um, you know not in any particular order but you guys have reached out saying hey you know the past couple days past couple weeks really been feeling depressed anxious lonely you know and and with all that's going on in the world so much uncertainty you know you guys have every reason to be feeling those ways but shoot you know Take the time to do a little self-care. You know, for those of you who don't have to be going into work the next couple of days or weeks, take advantage of maybe some of the things that you haven't been able to do or haven't been able to prioritize as much as your typical nine to five may have allowed. You know, for those of you who sit at work all day long, now you're just sitting at home watching TV or reading. You don't want to pick on those who are actually doing a little bit of reading, but it's still the fact that you're sitting and not moving. You know, take, it, take a little time each hour. You know, get up, move around. You know, it's just one of those things where it's free to get outside. I know most of us don't have access to gym equipment. And now with the gyms being closed, you start seeing these trends of people just not doing anything. And this really isn't the time to be doing that. You guys need to get the immune system challenged, get outside, breathe some fresh air, get some vitamin D, get some happy thoughts going through the mind. Gotta get time to de-stress. De-stress, please de-stress, because stress is the one thing that's gonna get all of us. Stress will make your immune system, for lack of a better word, Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese, little holes in it. Immune system will allow things to get in, take advantage of a weakened immune system, boom, higher chance of you getting sick. So get outside, do some stuff that makes your body feel good. You know, there's never been a workout that I never looked back and said, God, I really wish I didn't do that workout. You know, sit outside, find a bench even, you know, do some deep breathing. For those of you who might think that's a little weird, look up diaphragmatic breathing and check out the health benefits that that returns. I'll tell you right now, five to 10 minutes of deep breathing, you will feel awesome. What else? A lot of you guys have been reaching out saying thank you for some of the at-home workouts. I will do my best to continue sending those out. You know, check me out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I put pretty much as many things as I will randomly do on a given day up there, but it's just something to kind of break up the monotony of your typical boring workout or just sitting around at home. Maybe you can get some of your kids involved too. Yesterday I put one up that was involving some hand-eye coordination, some foot-eye coordination, just fun stuff, man. You know, get out in your yard and do that. Just because they tell you to sit at home doesn't mean you guys can't get outside. Don't forget that too. So um, the other thing that I wanted to um, shine some light on is a new one-on-one -on -one mobility session that will include anything that you want to do in a 30 or 60 minute time frame. A lot of you have asked for time for one-on-one -on -one with hip mobility, shoulder mobility, spine mobility, and I am more than happy to hop on a, you know, whether it's FaceTime or it's Zoom, spend a little time with you guys one-on-one -on -one in the comfort of your own home. That way you can keep up your social distancing. Um, but you know, I take you through a guided workout. And this is joint training. It's a little different than your typical, you know, workout at the gym. But these are things that if you pay close attention to, you can scale over the course of 30, 60, 90 days and look back. And maybe at the end of all this, you got a better shoulder, you got a better hip and your spine's a little happier too. So if there's anything you guys are interested in, as far as that goes, please reach out to me and we can set that up too on the schedule. And last but not least, as far as chiropractic goes, for those of you who've asked, yes, Rubber City Chiropractic is open until further notice. The schedule actually has been super jam-packed, so I will do my best to get you guys scheduled. 
Um, for my older crowd, I think that's the only drop I've seen as far as um, those folks who just, if I'm being transparent, they just were saying, hey, just gonna be a little cautious over the next couple of weeks. And I totally get that, totally respect that. And uh, But for those of you who are looking for appointments, just shoot me a text or a call and I'll get you on the books, okay? Love doing what I do, love helping you guys. And I know 99.9% um, .9 of the people out there always feel better after an adjustment. So other than that, guys, I think that's you know a week in review. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your weekend. And if there's anything else you need, don't hesitate. I'm just a phone call away. Hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon. Dr. Jim, signing off. See you guys.